fourth coffee of the day. It's gotta be good for your heart. What's going on YouTube? My name is Brandon, AKA Current Spaces. Welcome back to my second video. Um, thank you guys all so much for the love and support that you showed on my first one. I, uh, I feel a little bit better this time. I think I've got a lot of the jitters out of the way. This video did not take half as many cuts as the first one did. So uh, we're making progress, man, we're learning. Anyways, today I'm gonna be taking you guys on a little bit of a BTS behind the scenes look at one of my product shots that I'm gonna be taking for Clocks and Colors. They sent me the Spectre turquoise ring, and this is a ring that I've just been like so disgustingly excited to get in that the fact that it was sent out before New Year's, I think it postponed shipping by like a day or two. It was the longest two days of my entire life waiting for this ring to come in. Now, Clocks and Colors, their shipping is normally ridiculously fast. It's normally literally to my house within a day or two tops. Um, I think this time I, I waited maybe three or four days and it was just absolute agony because I've been wanting to get this ring in so bad. I've been wanting to shoot this ring so bad. Look at this absolute unit. This thing, are you kidding me? This ring is disgusting in such a good way, like disgusting in a good way. It's like blue cheese, I guess. Like people, people say they like blue cheese. There's, there's no way you don't, you don't actually like blue cheese, but I actually like this ring. That's a horrible metaphor. Anyways, like the, the craftsmanship behind this ring or just anything at that matter for, for what clocks and colors puts out is just always so next level. And I think that's why I'm just so obsessed with this brand. I just feel like every piece that I've ever gotten from them, it feels like, you know, there's just like a team of the most insanely talented designers behind it. You know, there's, there's never really any steps missed in the design process with these guys. Every time something shows up, it is literally flawless. Like I'm, I'm to the point where I'm almost trying to find things that I don't like about Clocks and Colors jewelry and I can't because it's just, it's literally perfect. It really is, it's perfect. But that's enough of the chit chat, let's just dive right in. One thing I absolutely love about product photography, among the many things I love about product photography is that it is a controlled environment. So today it is absolutely pouring rain and I don't have to worry about my photos. I don't have to worry about my lenses getting wet, my camera's getting wet. We can just chill, man. We can vibe out, we can take photos all day long and not have to worry about ruining our equipment, ruining our set, ruining our hair. We got nice hair. We got, look at this view, man. This is beautiful. This part of my day right here is by far one of the most important, aside from brushing your teeth. Yeah, can I just get a venti iced shake and espresso with oat milk? And uh, two shots of sugar-free vanilla. All right, so step number one is out of the way. Step number one of any product photography set that we're about to do is, is, uh, is coffee. If I don't have that in me, it's just, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a bloody nightmare. So we got that into me, feeling like a basic pumpkin spice girl, selfie. And uh, yeah, man, let's, uh, let's get going on this. Okay, so this is 100% proof that you do not need a professional photography studio to take dope photos. Now, check out this. This is the studio we're working out of. This is, this is the zoo. This is a futon, a spare bed. This is the basement. This is, this is normally clean, but my daughter was just down here absolutely bulldozing everything. So we're gonna leave that like that. We are going to shoot over here today. Now, come here, come here. Come here. Facebook Marketplace is my best friend. Look at this, look at this, look at this found this like cheap wooden trunk chest on Facebook Marketplace for $30, instantly bought it. I've taken bangers on top of this thing and this is what we're gonna use for today's set. Look at the drop ceilings. I literally like, oh man, <laughs> disaster. But this is my studio, man. This is where the magic happens. We just put this up not too long ago to start shooting YouTube content. This is just a big black backdrop we got from Japan camera. I just bolted it up into the exposed ceilings and it hangs down and it does the job. 
So this is what we're gonna use for our photo props today. We've got this uh, little like candle holder glass jar thing. We've got this used and abused sheet of glass, which I think adds some super cool texture to shots. We've got our orange lamp. This thing lights up uh, like a really nice orange glow and we can use that. And then we've got another little candle holder thing here. And of course, our wide brim hat from Clocks and Colors. This always adds some, uh, some texture and some flair and some style to any shot. So uh, let's set this up. Let's build this piece and bang it. Fun fact, as I was just filming, I knocked this over and shattered the glass everywhere. So luckily we still got this thing with glass until I dropped this one as well. Yeah, that was fun. So this is what the scene is looking like now. We're gonna shoot directly through these two elements, the light bulb here and this, uh, this candle holder thing that is now glassless. We're gonna shoot through it and try to use the reflection there that you can see use that reflection to create some nice bokeh on the ring, which the ring, we're gonna sit right here. So one thing to keep in mind when you're shooting products, you are shooting the product. You're not shooting the surrounding elements. Those are just literally what I said, surrounding elements. So we need to make sure that no matter what we're doing and no matter what the set looks like, the focus is still on the product, which in this case is the ring. So we've got it there. Obviously it's gonna be the foreground element. We're gonna use this little uh, this little corner here to add some foreground depth. And then we're just gonna blow out the back completely and just try to use this light and the reflection off the glass to create some solid bokeh. All right, update. Aside from completely obliterating my basement, uh, smashing my props, knocking over my lights, I, I need to buy all new everything, essentially, at this point. But uh, hey, photos look great. I got uh, three or four different ones that I'm going to share here. So uh, hope you guys like them. Check them out. Oh! Well, here we are. It's, uh, it's the end of the video. I hate goodbyes. Goodbyes are hard, but uh, it's goodbye for now. Thank you guys again so much. Please hit the like button, uh, jump on the subscribe button, and leap into product photography. Is that a slogan? I think that could be a new slogan. Yeah, it could be like my outro. Peace.